Okay, so, so far through all of these, we've been using the message box and input box. Let's change and instead use data that we can store in the, the Excel worksheet itself. Okay, so what we're gonna be using are ranges and cells. And I'm gonna go ahead let me pull up that very first module that we did. I'm going to control C that and start up one new module, insert module. And let's see, what number are we up to now? I think we're up to maybe five. Okay, so this is subroutine number five. And this time around, we are not going to use input boxes and we're not gonna use message boxes. We're going to actually um, put the output into the Excel sheet itself. Okay, so for X, there's what's called cells and ranges. Cell is usually when you just have one single cell that you wanna use, or if you want numbers to designate your cells. So instead of saying A3, it would be 1-3 or something. Okay, so what we're gonna do is start with, um, active cell, and this will just be what the cursor is currently clicked on. So there's the active cell value, and we'll let it read X from there, and then it will do its calculation. And instead of outputting to a message box, we don't want it to write over exactly the same spot where it was. So what we're going to do is move where our cursor is. We're going to offset it by some number. And I, it kind of highlights, so it says we're looking at row offset and a column offset. So if I put on here 1, 0, and I'll go back and forth and play around with those numbers so you can see what that represents on here. Okay, so we'll, we'll output our Y value into this new active cell and then end our subroutine. So let's go ahead and save this. So this is number five, and then we will go over to here. So I'm clicking on number three, and then Alt F8, remember, is how we can pull up to run this guy. So we'll go ahead and run this, and you'll see it's deposited an answer right over here. Maybe we should put in a little button. Okay, so developer, insert, a little form control, and we'll assign it to a macro here. If you ever want to reassign a button, you just right click on it and assign to a macro and you can reassign what macro it runs. Or right click on it, edit text. So this is run number five. Okay, and let's just play around with um, looking at what this offset is doing. Okay, so when I went one zero, it moved down one row and no columns. If I ran this again, let's change this instead of positive one to negative one. And I'm gonna go ahead and run it and see what happens. So negative one actually goes up and positive one goes down. If you look to see how the rows are numbered, one, two, three, four, five, six, so I go four to three, I'm going negative direction, that goes up, and then four or five, that's going in the positive direction, that'll go up. If I change this to, let's go from, see what the column direction happens. So I'm gonna start with my active cell on three again, and it's actually hiding behind my button there. So I can go ahead and, and move this out of the way. So this time it went, it went to the right of my active cell. And let's try negative one. So here's my active cell, run number five, and negative one is going to the left. Okay, so that's 
that's kind of how the cells go. You can put numbers in it, and the first number is your row, the second number is your column, and you can move up and down as much as as much as you want. Okay, so just walk around on that that active cell.